Jones. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber. Alright, so today I'll be talking about my Anders trimmers and why I feel like these uh, three trimmers I'm about to show you are the best right now that is out in the industry. Um, I just want to give a shout out to all the supporters that have been on my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you. I appreciate all the support, all the love, the comments and everything like that. If you are new to my channel, can you please subscribe? Can you give me a like or give me a comment on anything that you would like to see? All right, so basically what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna start from uh, one of the trimmers, the trimmers that I had from, man, I don't even know. I had this uh, these trimmers for so long, but it's like the go-to for every barber that's out there. Everybody probably had them. Right here, you have the Andes Blackout T-Outliners. I modified them. I did this because of the heat. Uh, once, once you uh, realize that you know cutting this off is doing this modification not even just for the look or the style but it really helps with um not letting the trimmers get too hot and i also put the square blade i did this because you know mustache area um i also can still use this on kids like the neck area no irritation or anything like that and they're still powerful so that's why i got these and um these are very very good if you have never tried them i would definitely say that you have to try these uh the blackout ones um, I will leave a link in the description below and this is just a go-to for almost every barber that's in the industry so this is the first one that I'm showing the second one that I'm showing is my favorite to be honest these are the slimline pro LIs I also modified these with a different blade it's the TY it's the T blade um, the original blade is a lot smaller it's about smaller as the it's about the width of the of, of the trimmer but these I made you know in the modifications um i like these they don't get hot uh they cut real well uh they're light they're easy to move around with they're good for designs i would definitely say if you do not have slimline pro allies they they're a must and i know a lot of people compare them with the retro t cuts that wall makes but um to me hands down these are these are just one of the best ones out the next ones that I have is the T Outliner Coreless. These are the Coreless ones to these, and I would definitely say that I actually like these. I was surprised. I thought I was surprised. I thought I wouldn't like them, to be honest, just because of uh, I don't know. I, I just didn't get a good feel for them. A lot of people gave them some hype. And a lot of people when they got them, they said they weren't the best. But for me, it was uh, I needed them in my hands to really find out why people like them or didn't like them. I honestly do like them. Uh, I like the weight of them. I like how they feel. They cut like in a way in a way they kind of cut smooth. Um they're not too harsh. I have them kind I have them close, not zero gap, but just to, you know, to the point I can use them on kids and I can use these a lot quicker than the corded ones, you know, because it's cordless. I can get around the air and, and stuff like that. So if you have not tried these, I would definitely say that you will have to uh give them a try for you for yourself i mean everybody has their own view on them but me i'm just telling you you gotta try it out for yourself to see if you like them or not i also put a link down in the description as well and it's, it's just a must man you, you gotta try things out on your own to really see how things feel i'm just giving you my opinion and my view on them but i'm telling you the three that i have the three that i have is is and this I appreciate you and your trimmers. These three, they work wonders. Now, I don't know if you know really in detail about blades, but these have the GTX blade. These have just a regular TR liner blade, and this has a square blade. And they all have their purpose. I'll do these with designs, but I'll use these to clean up my designs. I'll use these on kids or on almost basically everybody. If these need, if these need to charge, I'll use it. Most likely, I will try to you know, for the sharpness, I'm gonna clean it up with the razor anyway. So, you know, you just do what works best. And also this works great for the neck area. I just try to know myself, if you have something too sharp, it can get irritated, but these are perfect um, for neck area if you don't have them zero gap all the way. Um, so basically that's my review 
all my trimmers and I thank you all for watching uh, please like give me a comment subscribe to my page if you have not done that already also I will be coming out with more content if there's something else that you would like to see let me know I love doing this type of stuff and um, we're just gonna keep going we're gonna keep running with this and I appreciate y'all thank you all for watching and I'm out Peace. stay tuned Thanks to Bob, he's, he's up to something. We out. <sighs> did I do that right? Did I, did I, oh, we out. <sighs> you know, stay, stay cool, y'all. Stay cool. I, I, I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna figure this out. Should I do my, my hand, my foot like that? No, you see the broken socks? Okay, I'm done.